Hey guys, hello, welcome back to the series of Let's Rock the 100 Step Patterns with Farha Dubey. So this is basically a binary number step pattern. So this is very easy step pattern. And as previously and as our habit of religion, first we were discussing a number. Just we have to discuss the concept. We will discuss the concept. So get the point. You need to keep, keep two things in mind. First, that to iterate or to print the number of rows, we use one I for loop. We use an I for loop. And inside that I for loop, to iterate into the J loop, to suppose to print the J loop side, you, this is suppose this is I, you have entered. Now we have to come to the J loop from this, this, this position so that you can access. So we have to use another J for loop. And from there, we have to use print a new line to bring the cursor in the below position. So that's the concept. First, we use an I for loop, then J for loop, then we use print a new line to bring the cursor down. And then our program is executed by the proper conditions. So let's look the code. Observe it. This is basically a binary number pattern 10010. So we need to understand the concept that when one is printed, when zero is printed. So you can take anything such a reference, but here we will take, take zero as a reference. Why? Because just observe it. When the value of j equals to 2, 2 that is basically when the value of j equals to 2, that is even number. Even number 0 is printed. For even number 0 is printed. That means when there is an even value of j, there is 0 printed. Now what is 0? When there is even value of i, there is 0. Even value of i, there is 0. That means if there is an even value of either i or j or j, we get 0. So that is the condition we can use. That if there is either even value of i or even value of j, we use 0. Else, we use 1. So that's the concept. So first concept, i for loop for rows. Second, j for loop to print the columns. Third, the special condition of even, that when there is even value of i, when there is 0. And when there is what? There is 1. So we can use any condition. If you have used uh, 1 as the reference, then you have to give the condition of odd. So in this pattern, we will give i. So let's look the code. n that is the number of input rows that I can store at the address n. This is to iterate the row. J less than equals to what will be there n or i. Simple loop. There is 4. That means up to the number of rows there is rows equal. So simply j less than equals to n. This is to print colors. Now what to print? 0 or 1. So this is the condition we got from here. That if there is even value of i, j. Even value, that means i and j both. If we do the percentile of them, we will get 0. We will get 0. This is the condition. That means if i percentile 2 equals to equals to 0. That means if the value of i even that indicates even or j percentile 2 equals to equals to 0 that means the value of j equals to also even if this condition is satisfied then we will print f print f 0 else else in our condition print f 1 so now at the end print f new line so this is closed and at the end return 0. Now the program is ended. So this is the entire program. If you execute this code, we will get the entire binary pattern. So I think you have understand the pattern. If you haven't, I am again telling you. First, we use i for loop to iterate the rows. To iterate the rows, to iterate the rows, to iterate the rows, we use i for loop. Second, when there is a rows, to iterate into the columns, 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 columns. We use j for loop. And next, we use print new line to bring the columns from this position to the down okay and then again j j j print new line again that came to the down and this is how and to print 1 or 0 we have used a specified, a specified condition of even if the value of i equals to 2 or j equals to 2 that is when there is a value of even even there has been 0 so we check if the condition is even print f 
zero else print of one condition is even print of zero else one so that's the code so i wish you all understand the code so why to wait why to let let's move to the computer so let's move